Hey all, welcome back to another day of Extraordinary Connection. I am the Reverend Elizabeth Hurd. This is Lucy, and we are currently serving at Caledonia United Methodist Church in Caledonia, Michigan. I am so glad that you are choosing to spend a little time of devotion with us. So today, I thought we would talk about trying new things and trusting in the abundance of God. And to start, we'll center ourselves in scripture. And our scripture reading for today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 1 through 9. And I'll be reading from the message. And it says, At about that same time, Jesus left the house and sat on the beach. In no time at all, a crowd gathered along the shoreline, forcing him to get into a boat. Using the boat as a pulpit, he addressed his congregation, telling stories. Well, what do you make of this? A farmer planted seed. As she scattered the seed, some of it fell on the road and birds ate it. Some fell in gravel and it sprouted quickly but didn't put down roots, so when the sun came up, it withered just as quickly. Some fell in the weeds and as it came up, it was strangled by the weeds. Some fell on good earth and produced a harvest beyond her wildest dreams. Are you listening to this? Really listening? May God bless this reading to our understanding. You know, as I was thinking about trying new things and the willingness to try new things and trusting in God's abundance, I was flipping through this book right here, which is called The World According to Mr. Rogers, which is just a beautiful collection of quotes and sayings from Fred Rogers. And on page 36 of this book, I came across this quote about beginning a project. And Mr. Rogers said, I've often hesitated in beginning a project because I've thought it will never turn out to be even remotely like the good idea I have as I start. I could just feel how good it could be. But I decided that for the present, I would create the best way I know how and accept the ambiguities. I really like that quote. Because I think it's so true. When we have good ideas and we want to start projects, there's always a hesitation about what if it's not as good as I think it could be? Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever had this idea for some sort of ministry or some sort of project or something to give to the world? And just as you're about to begin it, the little sprout of doubt comes into your mind and you're like, oh my gosh, but what if it's not good? What if it completely fails? What if it doesn't do what I want it to do? Have you felt like that? I know I certainly have. You know, I think that when it comes to trying new things, there's always going to be that little hesitation that we have because we want to make sure that it is going to be perfect. We want to make sure that it is going to be effective. We want to make sure that it is going to do what we want it to do. And we want to make sure that we're not going to be wasteful, especially in the church. I think if we want to try something new, we want to prove right away that it is going to be effective and that we are not going to be wasting the church's resources on something. But the thing is, when we start thinking about proving that our ideas are going to be effective or worrying that they're not going to work or worrying that somehow we're going to be wasteful, that can get us in some sort of like paralysis mode, right? Like why even bother trying? It's not going to be good. It's just going to fail. Why even bother trying? And that's a really big problem. Because if we start to think in that way, then we are never going to do ministry, right? If we start to think like we can't even do this project because we have to prove that's going to work and somebody's going to think it's not going to work, so I'm never going to get approved, we're going to get stuck and we're not going to be able to do what God has called us to do. The church sometimes, I think, loses sight of the fact that we believe in a God that can use anything. God can use anything because God gives so abundantly that we never have to worry about wasting resources. Of course, we don't want to be silly. We don't want to do something that is so off the wall that nobody is going to be affected by it. 
But when we have an idea for a new ministry or something to try, we just have to try because we know that God is going to use it. Think about this parable, right? This parable from Matthew 13. This farmer was wasteful. I mean, quite honestly, any good farmer intentionally plants seeds, right? Like, I know this soil is good. I know that this is where crops grow. So this is where I am going to put the seeds. But this farmer was like, okay, I'm going to throw some and it's going to go on the road. Okay, I'm going to throw some and it's going to go on the gravel. Okay, there's, there's some weeds there. So I'm going to throw it and it's going to go there. How wasteful. Like, couldn't this farmer have just like sowed it in good soil and know that there was going to produce a harvest for her? Why did she throw it on the road where birds could get it? Why did she throw it where there are weeds? It's because she trusted that no matter where she sowed the seed, no matter where she threw it, it was going to land on good soil. Some would land on good soil and a harvest would be produced. And that's what we need to do as a church. We need to trust that we have these seeds that God has given us, a seeds of ideas, the seeds of ministry, the seeds of trying something new, having our hearts in a, like a place of passion, having a spark in our hearts that just drives us to want to do something. And we just have to trust that if we throw the seeds that God has given us in multiple places, that eventually it will fall on good soil, that God will be able to use where we throw these seeds to produce something great. We just can't be afraid to try. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we thank you for the ability to try new things. And sometimes we get scared, God, we get afraid, God, that we're, we're not going to be able to, to use these resources you've given us well. But when we get scared, when we get afraid, don't let us be paralyzed by that fear. Let us go and just try anyway, knowing that you can use all good things for good. Amen.